Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is still months away, but the executive producer of the Sonic movie franchise, Toby Astro, dropped a massive bomb about the Sonic movie franchise and a potential fourth movie. And if you love Sonic, subscribe right now. So Toby Astro recently had an interview about the Knuckles show, and this article includes some of his actual quotes saying, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 executive producer explains why the upcoming sequel will be an Avengers-style event. Sonic the Hedgehog franchise executive producer Toby Astro explains how the upcoming threequel will feel similar to an MCU crossover movie. He said that the franchise big screen outings would begin to emulate the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Each movie is being produced to feel like an Avengers level event starting off with the forthcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So just from that one quote, there's a lot to digest. The first movie and the second movie did have dramatic endings, but obviously the third movie will be much more dramatic because we are going to have more characters such as Shadow the Hedgehog. And because of all the characters, it will feel more like an Avengers level event, especially at the ending. Typically, the third movie is the most dramatic and often closes out a trilogy. However, he mentions the Marvel Cinematic Universe and uses the word starting with the forefront Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So that seems to strongly suggest that we are going to get a full Sonic Cinematic Universe with even more movies. Later in the article, he says that the Knuckles show is the first step in evolving the franchise into something reminiscent of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We knew of Shadow coming into Sonic 3 and some of the bigger things that we want to do in the Sonic movie franchise is going to have these Avengers level events. They are going to be these big exciting stories that have a lot of different characters. So it's really cool that they're saying that the Knuckles show and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is more of a starting point for the Sonic cinematic universe and there's likely more movies and TV shows coming. Obviously Jim Carrey is almost certainly done so they're going to have to find a new villain other than Dr. Eggman for future movies. The two most likely options are Silver the Hedgehog and Mephiles could carry a Sonic 2006 movie, or Metal Sonic could have a villain arc in a Sonic Heroes movie. You could have Chaos, Dark Gaia, or some new villain that is unique to the Sonic movies. Although Paramount only has the rights to the Genesis games, Adventure games, Sonic Heroes, Sonic 2006, Sonic Riders, and Sonic Colors. I also like what they did with the Knuckles show by adding a new human villain. Because there is so much potential to add a lot more Sonic characters, it makes sense that he's calling it the Avengers level events. It is also possible that there could be spin-off movies and TV shows, as opposed to a direct continuation of the storyline after Sonic 3. There was a leak not too long ago suggesting that Paramount approved the Shadow the Hedgehog spin-off project, but as nothing is really known about it. There's also the possibility that Knuckles could get a second season or another character such as Tails could have some type of spin-off as well. I'm really curious as if they would call it Sonic the Hedgehog 4 versus any other potential name, and it's likely that it would not be released until at least 2027, but it is possible that some type of spin-off show could be released before that. Sonic 3 was announced a few months before Sonic Sonic 2 was released, so if that's the case, then Sonic 4 would only be announced a few months before Sonic 3's release. But regardless, it does seem that Sonic the Hedgehog 4 is becoming more of a possibility, and it would be really cool if we do get a true cinematic universe. So let's cross our fingers and hope that Silver the Hedgehog appears in Sonic 3's post credit scene. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, you gotta go fast!